Welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, I am going to take you through my hospital bag. So I am now 36 weeks pregnant. Oh my God, which means I can pop anytime soon. So anyway, I am a second time mom. So I'm not exactly new to this hospital bag packing. However, it's going to be in a different hospital. It's going to be with a different doctor. So I do feel like it's my first time all over again. And the last time I did this was four years ago. So it's been a while. And you know, with the pandemic and all, I'm pretty sure that a lot of things have changed. I think I may have overpacked a little bit for my first. I mean, I didn't know better. I was a first time mom. This time, I just tried to compress everything in one luggage so that my husband doesn't have to carry too much stuff because it's just gonna be him and me. Because of COVID, visitors are not allowed. So yeah, nobody's, nobody's gonna be there to help us. So we're on our own. So actually, we have three more things missing in this lot. So we have Mike's bag, and then I'm also bringing my pregnancy pillow, which will be my nursing pillow in the hospital. So that will be easier for me to breastfeed my baby. Yeah, it's not here yet because we're still using it. Yeah. And finally, of course, we have our car seat, which is a non-negotiable because that is what is going to carry your most precious cargo, which is, of course, your baby. So please, if you're packing your hospital bags, please make sure that you have your car seat with you. So this is actually our car seat. Here we go. Yeah. So it's still wrapped in uh, cling wrap because this was just given to us um, yesterday. And I'm also bringing this universal cover. So I just got this last night. <laughs> so this is what we're going to use to cover the baby when she is here in the car seat. And this is from Swadi's PH. So um, aside from being a car seat cover, this also doubles as a nursing cover and a blanket, a muslin swaddle. So, so many uses. Okay, so let's start off with our main bag, which is this luggage. And that is the mommy and baby bag. So that is what contains all my stuff and baby stuff combined already. This side is baby side, the left side, and on the right are all my stuff. So it's easier for Mike to remember. Guys, you gotta make sure that it's easy for your husbands to look through the stuff because, you know guys, they don't they don't have the patience to sort through things, right? So you gotta make it idiot proof for them. So here we go. Okay, postpartum stuff first. Let's start off with this very, very sexy maternity pads. <laughs> Whether you're delivering via normal or CS, sadly, you are going to bleed down there. So you need these. Ta da! <laughs> Our maternity under pads. Maternity under pads are what you will use to protect your bed from any stains or any kind of leaks or discharge or whatever so it's going to help absorb all the wetness and all the nasty liquids that's gonna come out of your body oh my god tmi but yes you need these we have these goodies from buds and blooms thank you so much buds and blooms for sending these so this first one is the cleansing peri bottle it's just a little plastic bottle that you use to clean your lady bits you know you're gonna be kind of sore down there especially if you're um, doing a normal delivery so I guess if you're using a bidet it's gonna be too strong the pressure is too strong so this is gonna be more gentle for you when you wash your your hoo-ha <laughs> witch hazel perennial spray so I guess it's also a way for you to gently cleanse your private parts. It's also meant for soothing all the sore areas 
over there or down there. <laughs> All right, so now let's move on to my clothes. And I put all of my clothes in this packing cube. Okay, so, yep, these are my clothes, which, to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use. Because the last time I gave birth, I was just in my hospital gown the entire time. Because it was convenient, you know? They changed it for me. It was comfortable, I guess, and it had breastfeeding access, so it was easy to just pop the boob out, feed, and that was it. But I don't know, maybe this time I would prefer to look a little more presentable. <laughs> so this is um, uh, one pair of nursing pajamas from Mama Way. I love it because it's super comfortable, very cute as well, and it has nursing access. These pants, okay, that come with it are also adjustable on the waist area. So yeah, if it's too tight, if it's too loose, all you have to do is just you know um yeah adjust these buttons and you're good to go i am bringing an extra pair of pajamas also with nursing access because i'm not sure if i'm going to stain this one so i guess it's just good to have extras right extras of everything a cardigan just this one because it can get cold in the hospital a nursing robe from little k very nice and actually I bought one for the baby as well in the same print and one for Andy so we're gonna be threading or tripling whatever you call it these days I don't know maybe I just feel like throwing on something easy to wear you know something easy to wear something easy to take out something that will allow me to breastfeed easily as well nice huh Lastly, I am bringing two going home outfits. Yes, that's it. Two going home outfits. And the reason I brought two is because, you know, you know, again, just in case. In case of stains, in case of spit-ups from the baby. So this one is from Elementary Basics. There you go. This is actually a maternity dress. But even if you're not pregnant, I think this is a really good dress. Oh, it's super breathable, super comfy. I love comfy things, especially when you're pregnant and you're just recovering from childbirth. Comfort really is key and I love it. I love the color, love the design. I love how easy it is to wear and I love how it will fit me even after I give birth. And my other option for my going home outfit is from Mama Way. And this one is really cute too. There you go. It's a nice nursing dress with pockets over here and buttons here for easy nursing access. So once you open these buttons, you can just flip it down, <laughs> pull it down, and yes, feed your baby easily. This packing cube contains my underwear, towel, and postpartum binder. All right, so I'm bringing two nursing bras. Just because I'm not sure which one will be better for postpartum use. They're both from Mama Way. Thank you again, Mama Way. I love your product so much. Okay, so this first nursing bra is uh, this crossover type. So no snaps, no buttons or anything. You just do, do that. Oh, so easy, so fuss free. I think this is perfect for the newborn stage. This other bra is also very nice so you have a snap button here or a snap whatever you call it so you just flip it like this hold on there you go and -da! there you go boobies <laughs> i really love them i don't think i'll ever go back to regular nursing bras i mean regular bras after i've tried these nursing bras i'm like oh my god these bras they're a game changer. <laughs> Next item on my bag is this postpartum binder from Mama Way again. So a postpartum binder is an essential, trust me, regardless of what kind of delivery you have, but most especially if you're going through CS. So this is what's going to hold everything in place. A good binder is such a good investment because it just helps you recover faster. It helps you get back to your 
post, uh, sorry, your pre-pregnancy body faster and easier. With my first pregnancy, I used a substandard binder and I really felt the difference. It was so hard to move right after childbirth. I couldn't get up, I couldn't sit up, I couldn't walk around because I felt every stitch, I felt every pain. So yeah, I think um, a good binder is really going to be so, so convenient and so helpful for you. And this one, uh, the material is really good. So it's stretchy, it's comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be itchy on the skin. It's adjustable. So of course, um, further down the road, after you give birth, you're going to hopefully <laughs> slim down on the waist area. So this one is easy to adjust according to your waist size. Most moms will really swear by this one. So I'm just so happy and I'm so glad that I finally have a quality binder. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Disposable underwear. So disposable because again, stains, leaks, and all that. So easy for me to just chuck it in the bin when I'm done. So each pack has five, five pieces of underwear. Lastly is my towel. Here we go. <laughs> Do I need to show you my towel? You know what a towel looks like. Okay, so what's next? We have our haka and manual pump. I'm gonna really push to breastfeed my baby, but just in case, you know, just in case. Um, no milk comes out or I don't have that much milk. I think it's just good to have a backup plan. I have an electric pump, but I'm not bringing that anymore because it might take up a lot of space in my bag. So I'm just bringing a manual pump. This is a single pump. So this is from Pigeon. And I'm also bringing my Haka. It's basically a milk catcher. So you breastfeed your baby on one side of your boob and then you attach this on the other side and it collects the letdown because every single drop counts, right? Okay, you ready for the next one? Because I am. <laughs> okay, so this packet cube contains all of my lactation aids. So everything that I need to hopefully jumpstart a successful breastfeeding journey. Let me open this up. These pure and young malungai capsules from Buds and Blooms, which I have started taking already. So again, I'm already on my 36th week, so it's already safe to take it. So I take two a day, so you take it twice a day, or if you're already breastfeeding, four times a day would be good. So it's made of nothing but 100% pure and young moringa leaves. So very, very safe, even if you are pregnant. Breast pads, there. So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be needing these because I don't know if I'm gonna start leaking already uh, right after I give birth, but maybe on the third or fourth day or so, I'm not sure. But it's just good to have in case you do start leaking. And you know, it helps you stay dry and comfortable and it helps protect your clothes from the leaks. This one is from Pigeon. I was using this before with Andy and I was happy with it. So I have a spare. And this is from Pure Baby. I'm excited to try these as well. These seem a little bit thinner, which is good because they're perfect for traveling. They don't take up that much space. We have some hot chocolate mixes from Mother Nurture. I think I think this also helped increase my milk supply when I was breastfeeding Andy. By the way, I breastfed her for four years. Can you imagine? Four years. And uh, this is one of the supplements that I, I was taking before. I guess it was helpful for me if I lasted four years, right? Also, it's like a healthier alternative to the regular hot chocolate mixes because um, it's made of natural ingredients like stevia. So instead of sugar, they use stevia as the sweetener. And of course, it also has malungai leaves. So that's the key ingredient there. This is nipple cream from Lansino. Of course, when you're breastfeeding, you're gonna experience sore nipples, cracked nipples, you know, dry skin around 
the nipple area. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same for second time moms. I mean, I breastfed Addy for a long time, so hopefully my nipples aren't going to be too shocked. So you can already start applying this even when you're or when you're pregnant, so that hopefully by the time you give birth, your nipples are already pretty moisturized. And yeah, it's made of 100% natural and hypoallergenic ingredients. So very safe for the mom and very safe for the baby as well. So you can use it even before or right before breastfeeding the baby. And even if she ingests it, it's okay. And then last packing cube has my nursing cover. There. So I love this nursing cover. This is from Indigo Baby. So it's called a boncho. Actually, so it's like a breastfeeding poncho. <laughs> so you just put it like this. Yeah. There. Ta da! There, and then breastfeed your baby. And you can wear it multiple ways. Although I really just use it as a nursing cover. But I mean, you can use it to accessorize your clothes even if you're not breastfeeding. And look at the design. It's so cute. And it's so comfortable. There, this is my toiletry bag. So there, it folds and unfolds like this. So I'm not gonna show you everything anymore because, you know, your toiletries are your own toiletries and I have my own. So, you know, basics like shampoo, conditioner, brush, toothpaste, facial wash, deodorant, uh, makeup remover, sunscreen, feminine wash, what else? Oh yeah, I also run hair ties, uh, dental floss, um, soap, and dry shampoo because I don't know again if I'll be able to shower. So if not, at least I'll have dry shampoo to keep my hair fresh. I also have slippers. Yeah, so comfortable slippers. So I'm not gonna take it out anymore. They're just regular slip-ons. Oh yeah, I do have socks. I forgot to show you. The socks are also here with my clothes. Sorry about that. I forgot. Okay, baby stuff. Look at that very, very organized filing system. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this. <laughs> Can you tell? But anyway, the reason why they are so organized is because of these packing cubes from Kipper. Thank you so much. They are so helpful. I mean, look at that. All daddy has to do is open the luggage and everything's there. Laid out for him. Packing cubes from Booth's Republic. I love it. It's so nice. And of course, the best part is that they customize. So you can choose the color, you can choose what name you want to put in front. So very good Christmas gift idea, guys. Christmas is coming. In this packing cube, we have baby's delivery room essentials. A pair of mittens, pajamas, so footed pajamas, high side long sleeve top from St. Patrick, so both the pajama and the top are from St. Patrick Baby. Um, this bonnet, it's so nice. Ah, floral bonnet from Lulu Joe. Uh, Lulu Joe Muslin. It also comes with this muslin swaddle. It's a pair already. Yeah, and so baby's first OOTD. Very pretty. And the material is so good too. It's so soft, it's so comfy. I would love to be a baby and just be swaddled with this. This swaddle actually comes with a name tag. We have two. One says, hello, my name is. And then the other one says, bonjour, je m'appelle. Did I pronounce it right? And then a receiving blanket, which is hooded, so it has a hood. Three diapers. So all the toiletries are here. Just the essentials really. So Mustela cleansing water for diaper changes. This smells really good, especially after they poop. Although newborn poop doesn't really smell like anything. So I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I mean, it has a variety of uses as well. It can be used for the hands, for the face. Cleansing gels here in sachet. So travel size, there you go. So this is like a hair and body wash. There, diaper changing cream. So you use this when you change, obviously, when you change your baby's diapers, it's good to use this even if they don't have rashes. So every diaper change, because it's actually preventive. So why wait for your baby to have rashes, right? When you can prevent it from happening. Uh, Johnson's Cotton Touch Hair and Body Wash. So I brought a variety of 
body wash brand, so different kinds, just in case, because I wouldn't know if her skin is sensitive, if she would prefer she would prefer one type of um, hair and body wash over another. So it's a trial and error thing. That's also why I only brought travel sized um, toiletries, mini cotton buds. Uh, I got this waterproof belly button patch from Tiny Buds. So you put this on baby's belly button if you're going to wash her, you're going to bathe her. So it helps keep it dry in that area. And yeah, it just protects the baby's belly button basically. You can also use it for newborn cord care, after injection care, bath time, and sleeping time. A towel and four pieces of washcloths. We also have baby's clothes. Here we go. They're color-coded. Look, look at that. It's so nice on the eyes. Very pretty. Baby girl Smith outfit one, outfit two, outfit three, and going home outfit. So inside each packing cube, again, I put two long sleeve tops, two pajamas, two bonnets, and two mittens. So I have uh, one, two, and three. There. So if you notice, most of the stuff or most of the clothing and accessories that I brought are all white because with white, it's easier to spot insects or blood or dirt. Although I did bring a few pink things, yeah, there. But still light colored, still easy to spot any unwanted foreign objects. I reserved the cute outfits for the going home set. So this is the going home outfit set. So again, I brought two. I just brought two pajamas and two, uh, actually, sorry, two footed rompers and then two bonnets and two mittens and that's it. So again, two because, you know, you never know what babies can do. Vomit, spit, poop. <laughs> so just being prepared muslin swaddles so i brought two muslin swaddles although i do have a separate baby blanket there so i'm not sure if i should take out one of these and just replace it with a baby blanket by the way muslin swaddles are great because they're multi-functional multi-purpose so not only do you use them to wrap or swaddle your baby but you can use them for you know wiping their face or um, using it as a burp cloth so you can put it over your shoulder so it's much bigger than a regular burp cloth so you can be sure that it won't fall off unless you're clumsy like me <laughs> but yeah so very nice very nice to have in your hospital bag and then i also brought just regular white burp cloths or you call it lampin in tagalog so um, these are from infant Font? Is that how we pronounce it? So fancy. <laughs> and some are from uh, a different brand. Purity, if I'm not mistaken. These are actually Andy's burp clothes. So she's had them since she was a newborn. And I got to keep them because I used them for different things. So like when she would play outside, I put it um, on her back. So it's like a back towel for when she gets sweaty and um, when she started eating solids yeah, and I also use that as a bib so very handy apart from my muslin swaddles I also have my sleep sack swaddles uh, my trusted sleep sack swaddle brand is nothing but halo so halo is actually used by um, a lot of doctors or recommended by a lot of doctors in different hospitals around the world because it's really used for safer sleeping so instead of using a regular blanket which could potentially cover your baby's face when she's sleeping these are wearable blankets this is a velcro opening there and then here's the other opening and then you have a zipper right here okay so you zip it up oh sorry zip it open like this and then all the way up there and then you put baby inside and there you go and then you just close it up again I've had this 
uh, this brand, although a different swaddle for Andy when she was a baby. She was also a Halo baby since birth. So my new baby is going to be a Halo baby as well. And I love it. It's so convenient, especially for, um, you know, nighttime changing when you're changing the baby's diapers. So easy to use. So if you're not an expert swaddler, these are already ready to use swaddles that, you know, won't give you a hard time. I have two designs here. They're very cute. I love the designs, by the way. So I got one is pink and then the other is a more gender neutral one in case we have another baby one day. Yeah. And hopefully it's a boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We also have cotton balls and wipes, so self-explanatory. Yeah, we have Huggies diapers. So um, Andy used Huggies when she was a newborn and I, I believe they fit perfectly for a newborn. So I'm bringing this kind again. This is a pack of 24 diapers. But again, I, th I think the hospital is going to give us another pack of maybe another 24 so that's like 40 plus all up and I think that's all you need because babies uh, babies change diapers like six to ten times a day so if we're there for four days so that's let's say 10 diapers for four days so 40 diapers yeah I think that's just about right baby under pads and uh, these are disposable baby under pads you know when when the baby does Wee wee on her uh, bassinet, the hospital bassinet. At least this will help protect the mattress. There, that's it for baby stuff. I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope. Okay, all right, what's next? We have my personal bag. This is actually Andy's diaper bag, so I'm gonna be using this. So basically, things that I need within reach right away wallet and it has my cards and everything money not so much money <laughs> so but yeah ids and then i also have some extra face masks my vitamins my supplements my meds i have some charger so for my phone for my camera my camera is not here yet because i'm using it now to film this vlog of course my power bank and it's in a case but yeah the power bank is in there my phone is here because again still in use hair ties lip balm pens bring extra pens you don't want to share pens with other people hot and cold pack you never know right i might have a sore back sore nipple sore anything so yeah headaches disinfectant wipes or Alcohol wipes, I, nako, you can bet I am going to disinfect the hell out of everything in the hospital. <laughs> hospital records, uh, this has everything, like my ultrasounds, all the tests that I've done for this pregnancy, my health history, so all the medicines I've been taking, all the conditions that I have that the doctors and nurses should be aware of and let's see oh yeah my SSS my Phil health most probably the doctor or the nurses will ask me questions about my health and if you're groggy and you're in pain or whatever you're just not in the right mind to answer so you can just go please refer to my documents they're all there so yeah I hope this will make everything easier for the doctors and nurses. So next, we have this bag for our random things. Disinfectant wipes again, so one pack. Paper towels and toilet paper. I'm pretty sure they have toilet paper there, but just in case, you know, they run out. Spoon, for uh, paper plates, trash bags, Hand soap, we brought our own. Alcohol. Oh, we also have a disinfectant. It's not here yet because I just got it from the grocery. And of course, some snacks. So chips, cookies, crackers, just simple nibbles. Mostly for Mike, I think, and for me. Because I can't eat 
eight hours prior to my operation so I'm not having any of that yeah so there you go <laughs> that's pretty much it and of course water I'm gonna put water here as well for us okay so that's it <laughs> that's it for my hospital bags Mike's bag is not here yet uh, I'm gonna leave him to do his own packing he can pack in like 10 minutes so I'm not even gonna worry about that I mean all he has to bring are just a few pieces of clothing some toiletries that's it his presence of mind <laughs> his money <laughs> to pay for the hospital bills I think I'm like 80 to 90 percent done so I'm so happy <laughs> yeah so yeah that's pretty much it um, I tried to be as simple and minimalist as possible first time I went overboard you know I brought so many unnecessary things like too much clothes that I didn't get to wear too much makeup that I didn't get to use because hello who are we kidding who has time for that when you're taking care of a newborn right anyway that's it for now and I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was please don't forget to leave a comment for me in the comment section below because that would really really make me happy that would make my day and of course don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel mm -hmm. okay and I'm also on Instagram as scenes from Nadine so you can follow me there as well for more motherhood and pregnancy updates but I don't know if by the time this is out I've already given birth I don't know really so anyway please wish me luck on this baby that she just give me a hard time and that everything will go well so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around bye